Welcome to another Business Spotlight, where we share insights, reflections, and pearls of wisdom from local business owners. My name is Kerry James. I'm a business coach and facilitator. And this morning, I'm welcoming to Business Spotlight, uh, owner of Telstar Mobile Media, Mr. Brian Fullerton. Good morning to you. How are you, Brian? Great to have you on. Kerry, I'm fine. And you? Yeah, very well. Let's get stuck straight in, if we may, please. Telstar Good. Mobile Media. Yeah. A little bit of background, please. How long have you been in business and what do you specialize in, please, Brian? We've been in business, uh, arguably, for 15 years. Uh, and we specialize in communications. What our technical team have done is built a platform that has the ability to get to Mr. Kerry James Mobile, opted in and permission-based, and, and give him a service that he's looking to purchase or is interested in. Uh, we refuse to do spam. We use a different type of SMS and MMS uh, methodology to do it. Uh, we can get to landlines. Um, I would advise clients do not go to landlines. Landlines are too personal. Yeah, uh, I don't like communicating to landlines. So we, 95% of the time, will go to mobiles, opted in and permission based to repeat. Yeah. So what um, might be a typical scenario in which that, that setup works then, Brian? Um, it could be, let's take a charity, for instance, an objective of the charity, uh, like the British Red Cross, who were a client, is to generate revenue, to generate more volunteers for them, uh, to capture data for them, outbound to that data, and input that into the Red, Star, uh, Red Cross Direct. So if you look at the schematic that we operate, we go out to your mobile phone, and we give you prompts, calls to action, visit the website, call us now, and different other things. Uh, everything's there. It's, it's an active platform that you can play about with. Yeah? And the objective is to generate business for the clients, generate interest, better engagement, if you like, uh, with their current audience, uh, and build them a comms platform second to none. Uh, you could say that it's, it's a media offering. Uh, rivaling or competing with TV, press, radio, cinema, and outdoor. Um, we can promise better results. Yeah. And how, how would the, you know, if I'm thinking of it, comparing it to email campaigns, for example, Brian, yeah. in terms of the engagement or the click-through rates, how, yeah. how might that kind of compare or differ to the other options, many options that are out there these days? I, when I look at my emails of late, and, and strangely enough, in the last 12 months, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting more spam than I ever did. It's dreadful. Uh, and, um, and, and emails as part of a media mix is fine to inform people if they're already a client. I don't, I'm not a great fan of email campaigns per se. If they're targeted properly, they can work fine. They're good. Uh, the mobile uh, platform that we use uh, will generate 10, 15 times more traffic uh, and generate more interest than an email campaign. I ask you, I ask your potential audience out there, do they like email? I think I, we most would say, no, it's spam. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. And so you gave us a charity example. What other scenarios might be relevant to this platform then, Brian? It may be an insurance company that wants to get more business, uh, their first objective is to talk to their uh, existing customers to make sure that they rebook their car insurance, their home insurance, their life insurance, their financial um, background, uh, and utilising and capturing data. We will then, phase two, generate new business for them. So consolidate your existing business, generate new business. Better engagement with your customer base is what we advocate and what we, and what we preach. Yeah. And if you don't put your arm around your customer, yeah, they'll go somewhere else. So that's the that's part of our mantra. Put your arm around them, give them the information they need, and they'll keep with they'll stay with you. Loyalty. Yeah. So that's um, some of the advocacies that we've got. Yeah. And how would you characterize an ideal customer then? You've mentioned, I guess, what I've understood to be relatively large organizations quite a lot of the viewers of business spotlights tend to be from more from smes are there situations within smes that lend it themselves to to this this type of service 
Yeah, it, it doesn't matter if you're corporate, if you're an SME, if you're a small business person out there, it doesn't matter. And what we would do, let's take the smaller business, the SME out there, we'd find out what current data they've got. Yeah, do they have current data? Let's utilize that. We will put that in to uh, a platform for them so that they can utilize it. Uh, I, I hasten to add that once we've built that platform, we pass it over to the client to utilize. They know when best to send out a message. They know the optimum time to do it. So we can give them access to their own platform so, so, they, uh, so that they own the platform, if you like. They're renting it from us. But they and would this, how would this integrate with broader CRM systems then, Brian? Uh, I'll integrate easily with them. All they need to do is, if we talk to IT people, used to be the bane of my life. Yeah, uh, I remember doing an interview with, uh, and it doesn't matter, Dart for Council, and the chief exec. Ultimately, he and I got on terrifically well. Why? Because we built a successful platform for him. But he had me standing up in front of this audience of senior commercials, and we were talking to the guy, and the IT specialist suddenly was becoming very boring and turned around and said, we've got that, Mr. Chief Exec. I can't use bad language in this video, but you can imagine what that Chief Exec said to him. He and I became great business pals after that. So the IT people, been of my life, but I like talking to them because simply, just do it. Here's the platform. You tell me what's wrong with it, please. It so who, who would you They'll consider? Who integrate would... perfectly. Sorry, but... Yeah, it'll, it'll fit perfectly in with your CRM system. It won't cause any problems. Yeah. Right. Okay. So who would you consider to be your competitors then, Brian? It's a difficult one, bearing in mind there's a lot of good technology companies out there, like are bigger than us, uh, who are smashing product, smashing platforms. They work. They get out there. They can be overcomplicated and, dare I say, extremely expensive. And we build what we need for our clients to to give them maximum penetration out there. Um, but our focus is on marketing. You can have the best technology in the world, don't take it to the market, you've got nothing. Yeah. So our focus is on generating results and responses using the great technology that we've got. So our technology, as good as. Our marketing skills, better than, because these technology companies are, guess what, focused on technology. They sometimes don't think. And that's many years of my media and advertising experience coming to the fore. Yeah? Uh, you're neglecting the end. You've got to generate business, Mr. Technology Company. They don't see that, the majority of them. So that's a little benefit that we've got. Focus on the client. Focus on delivering results. Yeah? So, Brian, um, we're, um, we're approaching the middle of... 2023 clearly it's been an interesting and turbulent three years or so with lockdown and interest rates and inflation rates all within the context of course with a huge of a huge digital revolution as well yeah. how have yeah. all these environmental effect uh, factors affected your industry and your business would you say probably enhanced it uh, in essence if i was pitching for a piece of new business or i've got an existing client um i don't need to go and see them now They'll be very disappointed not seeing my face. Of course, they won't face to face, but I can do it on a Zoom meeting. I can do it by phone. They've got access to the platform. With respect, when we build a platform uh, and a marketing platform for clients, they rarely come back to us. They'll come back and say, ah, we need a little bit more work on that. Can you help, please? And that's it. Our day to day engagement with clients is absolutely minimal. Build them the platform, give them what they want, generate the results, and they're happy. They're happy. Not complacent, I hasten to add. Uh, we don't do that, but that's what that, that's what the clients we give them. Um, we fulfill their objectives. Yeah. What, what would you so, say today then, Brian? COVID has been quite good. Sorry, Kerry. Uh, the lockdown has been quite good in many respects, in that we can do it long distance. Yeah. I don't need to be going to London uh, three times a month. I don't need to be traveling up to Scotland, yeah, um, to do them. And so, so it's been beneficial to us. The downside is that when 
lockdown came, we were just buying new offices. We didn't do that. And that to me is very important to work with our staff because they're, they're my thinking platform. Yeah. Um, so our next objective is to get uh, good offices, fairly local to where, where I live. Unfortunately, my technical people uh, are in all parts of the UK. Yeah. Um, so trying to pull them all together in one uh, base is a problem, but it's not a problem. Okay. I've got it. Got so, so, the, the, so the digital revolution has been good for us in terms of the offering that we've got. And we're, we're happy to show people it and any potential clients out there. And they, can, they can have a look at it. So, Brian, you mentioned that <clears throat> excuse me, having a remote team and... Yep. Yeah. operating as, as a great team is, is a challenge when they're not all in the same office. So what, yeah. what, um, what other, would you say, would be the key challenges to your business today? Probably key challenges. Um, there aren't as many as one might imagine. The key challenges are geography. You've just mentioned uh, my techie teams are uh, all points uh, south of us, yeah? And Derbyshire, and, well, Newcastle's north, but um, the, the, they're spread. But we can get together uh, on meetings. They know what to expect from us uh, and they deliver. So it's not a great problem. Um, the challenges are I'd like to have them together in an office with that whiteboard up there and throw ideas up on it because that's how we built the platform in the first instance. Yeah, just generating ideas. A technical team came to see me working for a competitor, working for a client of mine at Isn't Rad, and asked if I was interested in mobile telephony, mobile comms. That's how it started. Yeah. Okay. So that's a real challenge, uh, but it's not a great challenge. Uh, the challenge is um, legs in the ground to build the business big up at the moment. That's, that's the biggest challenge. Uh, okay, and, and what about uh, moving towards the future then, Brian? What aspirations have you got for Telstar Mobile Media and where do you see yourself in five years' time? Um, we've got different target markets out there. We've got debt recovery, which is a, a very successful operation for us. We've got the public sector. We've got advertising and marketing agencies. We've got other elements of the business. We've got charity side of the business. I can come to the charity side another day. Um, and what I want to do is break those companies down into individual elements because somebody like Capita out there, who are a public sector uh, company as such, uh, they won't want to know about charity or retail or debt recovery. So we'll break the companies down and that's what we'll be doing over the next five years with partners, yeah? Um, so we'll have four, four stroke, five independent companies. Yeah. So that's that's that, that's the five year plan. If you like. Okay. Yeah. Right. So we started this discussion with you saying you've been building the company up for fifteen years or so. Yeah. If, if you were to reflect on the key lessons, and if you were to maybe share some pearls of wisdom with young business owners that are starting today, Brian, what what might be Top of your list, do you think? Get a good team around you. Work with your team. Uh, give part of your company away. Don't keep it all. What's the point of having 100% of nothing? And that's the key, the key issues. I'm fortunate in that my techni technical people, and I'm slightly technophobic, curiously enough, strangely enough, owning a tech, tech company, but it's a marketing company, um, is to, and that would be the key issues, to support and the people that are working for us, uh, they're key to, to the whole business. So that's uh, that blended with my structure is to win new clients and structure the companies. That's my role in life. And the challenge to me is bringing partners in, or people in to work with me to make that vision come to reality. And if somebody looks at the public sector and the case studies and uh, they'll realise, um, and I'm happy that anybody talks to somebody else to say, well, is this a concept? Does it really work? Um, so that's the challenge for the next five years, to get partners on board, to work with me, 
to make it that proper offering. And that's going back 15 years. That's been missing uh, partners, particularly on the marketing and uh, business side. So what sort of what sort of partners are you looking for, Brian? And uh, uh, as a kind of final question, any um, offers or uh, information or invitations that you'd like or, or next steps you would suggest if any partners or potential clients are interested in talking to you? I'm happy. This, if you were to show somebody this video, would they understand their offering? Have I communicated it properly? Uh, I, my um, theory is have a look at it, play with the product, because in your own mind, you will see, well, wait a minute, if this product can do that, it can do that, because the partners I'm looking for will be from different environments. Uh, they, they should have a bit of a marketing brain, a bit of a sales brain, um, but more a business uh, visionary, yeah, uh, a bit better than mine. Uh, and they will see the opportunities that exist. So our offering is take the platform, play with it, look at it, look at the case studies, and when you're doing and when you're looking at the platform, you'll see the opportunities there, yeah? Because your business will be different from mine, and you'll see different elements of what we've got, yeah, that can translate to either your client base or to another market out there, yeah? So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for people um, that think us and do us. That's what we're looking for. Very good. Yeah. All right, then, Brian. Well, it's been it's been a real pleasure. I, I like, particularly like your reflections on uh, building the team and having one hundred percent of nothing is 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 pretty pointless. So, yeah. so think about the financial structure of the business. So, it's been great, uh, Brian. Thanks ever so much for your time and your input, and all the very best. I, we'll put those links with the video, and all the very best with Telstar Mobile Media. Lovely, Kerry. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Thank you.